Okay, now if you've got the iMedia Blaze 9, I'm going to be guiding you through how you can put a fresh copy of the firmware on that tablet. Now, as a rule of thumb, just a few things that you need to know. You will need an SD card. I've got a brand new one here. And your tablet will look like this. It's the 9 inch. And remember, this is a new firmware install, which means it removes and repartitions all the drives so take off the tablet anything you want to keep. This is how the tablet looks at the moment if you're up for a firmware install. You'll see the old iMedia logo that will be replaced with the one that I'm showing on the screen here. Now to get started all we do is call up one of our browsers. Let me just close that and bring over a browser here. Now we go to YouTube and in YouTube here we and your following steps which I'm going to guide you through on are down here in the description so let's go down and we're going to follow all that now okay so when we've downloaded that file we'll then be looking to get it on our SD card now you can see I'm in removable drive here and you can see that I've transferred over that firmware install. Now let's just click on that and just check it's got everything in it that we need. And there you go, that's the sort of thing that you're looking at. So we just click back on that. That SD card can now be removed from your computer and inserted into your iMedia Blaze. So let's go away and do that now. Okay, so with that firmware on that SD card, let's pop that in the tablet. There you go, clipping it in there. And now what we're doing is we've installed that SD card in there and we've just switched on. Now you get that message across the top that it's actually reinstalling that firmware. There we go. This is a process that will take around about five to 10 minutes. Follow the instructions down on the bottom here. As this firmware is installed, so it's giving you updates on its progress down the bottom here. So let's just cut back to this in just two minutes or so when that's hit 100% and we can see how the progress of this firmware install is going. Okay, well about four minutes has passed and you can see that it's still processing the relevant data. We've just hit, what's that, 55%. So we come back to this in just a few seconds. Okay, and there you go. Down in the bottom left hand corner, you can now see that it says remove the SD card. So I'm gonna do just that. Okay, I've managed to clip that out there. And you can start to see now, the tablet automatically boots up. You'll now recognize that we've got a new boot screen there. And once it's gone through that boot process, you'll then see a new animated screen. So we'll come back to this because this process of repacking the database is just about to start when this animation finishes. Okay, so that was about two minutes with that animation on that first time install. And now what you can see that it's unpacking and rebuilding all its databases. So again, this process lasts typically two minutes again. Okay, so about two minutes has passed and you can see that it's finished doing that and the tablet's all coming back to life. We can see certain features and functions of it. Date and time needs internet access for that to be updated. Um, but whilst I've got a low battery on this one, um, whilst I've got your attention, let me just show you a couple of tips and tricks. If I just go into settings here and we scroll up to developer options, um, if that's not showing on yours just click about tablet a number of times so let's go back into developer options just a couple of quick quick issues here relating to speed if you want to really speed this tablet up and this is the case for any tablet in actual fact that's android 4 and above one of the things that we can do is we can switch on something course yeah force gpu rendering on 2d drawing so we can switch that on there we go that will speed it up no end. These animation scales, we don't need that. We can reduce all that. That will speed it up tremendously. Just get rid of that. 
and that animation scale there, take that down to 0.5. There, now we've also improved the performance of the tablet, no end as well. And there we have a fresh install of this tablet, give it internet access, sign into your account. They are your apps by default. Obviously you've got the Play Store on there, you're ready to go.